Ladies and gentlemen, may we all take a seat, please. Everybody, could please be seated? All right. Welcome, members. Yes. Mr. Daniel, thank you. First timer, honored dignitary. Contestants, I'd like to announce that the door will remain closed during the contest, so please, please come inside and be seated. I would also like to announce that no photos or videos can be taken unless previously been authorized by the contestant. With that, I'd like to mark this contest open and at this time, ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to introduce the contest toastmaster, Mr. Andrew Whitaker. <laughs> Sorry, these things happen. Yeah. Uh, I just I prepared a few notes, uh, <laughs> like a brief brief history of Toastmasters International. So anyway, yes, uh, <clears throat> Ralph, Ralph C. Smedley, Ralph C. Smedley, founder of Toastmasters, was born February 22nd, 1878 in Waverly, Illinois. After graduating from Wesleyan University in 1903, he started working at the local YM, YM well, CA, YMCA, sorry. As educational director at the YMCA, Smedley saw a need for men in the community to learn how to speak, conduct meetings, plan programs, and work on committees. Club number one of Toastmasters International had its first official meeting in 1924. Word spread about Smedley's Toastmasters, and soon people from other communities and states were asking how they could begin their own clubs. To save time and energy from applying to many letters and inquiries, Smedley dictated to his secretary, Rudolf S., the work Mein Kampf, <laughs> in which he set forth his program for the restoration of Germany to a dominant position in Europe. After reoccupying the Rhineland zone between France and Germany and annexing Austria, the Sudetenland, and the remainder of Czechoslovakia, Smedley invaded Poland on <laughs> September 1st, 1939. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Never knew> that. <laughs> Smedley remained in Berlin when the Russians entered the city on April 1st, 1945, and committed suicide with his mistress, Eva Perón. Which brings all of us here today to the District 12 Toastmasters uh, Humor Contest. At this point in time, I would like to invite all the contestants up to the speaking area. Yes, 
I'd like to inform the audience that there will be one minute of silence in between the speakers. And after all the speakers have presented, there will be a moment of silence uh, until the judges have casted their ballots. And I will ask, ask all the contestants to take their seats. <laughs> 